Hey everyone, this is Zoras from Not Casuals, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over the Anniversary Festival event, which is going to be starting for all kingdoms very shortly today at Reset. Uh, this is an event that happens every year around this time, and it is probably one of the best, if not the best, event of the entire year. So in this video, I'm gonna go over what you need to know in order to get the maximum amount of value from this event and to have the maximum amount of fun. So first things first, I'm going to start with what is included in this event. So the first thing is the sign-in spoils, which basically is an extra little event that they've added so that we have a way of getting this new Matilda of Flanders cultures. You just log in and get these rewards every day. Very straightforward. Uh, there's some really cool reward here, like reserves, uh, talent reset, some keys, some dev. You get uh, a total of 10, 20 here and 50, so 80 sculptures for this commander. So this is a very, very good, valuable event. Um, even for farm accounts, I would say that if you are going to be starting some farm accounts right now, for the future, you should log in and create them right now. Because having 80 sculptures for one of this kind of gatherer, she's a very, very strong gatherer. She will be a best-in-slot gatherer for a long time because of her 10% extra resource reward from her expertise so i would create farm accounts right now and make sure that you log in for eight days on them so that you can get the maximum value on top of all of this extra completely free stuff which will be very valuable for any account now anniversary festival this is the kind of event that we get every time basically there's five days of different events and you just have to do the stuff that it asks you it's very simple stuff increase power kill barbarians all that kind of stuff and it unlocks every day so if you haven't seen one of them so far and um, you've not been playing the game because they start from the day one of any new kingdom and they also give some of these commander candy commanders i guess which is the valuable resource uh, needed for the event specifically so this is a very good thing. You want to max it out at 100 if you can. And you just need to play the game, kill four, kill all that stuff. And then you'll get up to 100 of each of those, which is very valuable if you've not expertise all your epic commanders, as well as a lot of free speed up and XP. Now, Celebration Cake, this is the cake of the event, of course. This is the biggest part of this event. Basically, by doing these tasks, which is either collecting resources on the map or uh, in the city, or as well as defeating barbarians, you will get celebration boxes. Now, these boxes will be in your inventory. You will collect them from the mail, and they will contain uh, like this little currency here, which is a candy commander. Uh, and here is everywhere else that you can obtain it, so you can obtain it in the event. And there's going to be a bundle that also gives this currency that will probably unlock in a day or two after the event has released. And that will most likely include a recharge event as it always usually does. Now, when you have a lot of this currency, you'll be adding here. See, I can add four of them so far. So you will be able to level up uh, once you have enough. And then you'll get these rewards in the line corresponding to the level that you are in. Uh, it goes all the way to 25. And as you can see, you can unlock this entire line for 7,000 gems. Now, as for every single one of these events... This is 100% worth it and required. First of all, because you get 7,000 gems worth of gems almost just from this alone. So you'll get your gems back. But on top of that, look at all these rewards. There's so many heads here. Uh, 15 here, stars here, 5 more here. Uh, there's more stars here, more heads here. Uh, this is absurd, the value for this. On top of everything else that it gives on the left side which is more and more stuff there's gems and there's also these card packs which is a special thing for this event alone which i'll go over a little bit later but it's just basically uh, a pack that you put in the chat and then the first five people who click your chat will get a little extra reward it's very good but very small and just time consuming just fun stuff basically so as i said this event lasts for seven days and will be very, very, very worth it. You also got a city skin in here, which is a city skin that I looked over when the patch notes came out. Uh, but the city skin is here, basically. Uh, this is a pretty okay city skin. It's not the best, not the worst. Uh, if you want to check it out, they are right now available to look at in your city. Or you can check my video about the patch 1.0.38, which is the patch that happened two days ago. And I go through all of these skins and why they're good or not and what you should be doing if you want to get them. Now, of course, 
to get as many of this as possible in order if you're a free-to-play player. The best strategy is of course killing a lot of barbarians as always. Try and get in a group with your alliance so that you can hit many barbarians with many armies at the same time. As well as you can collect resources on the map. Now this trick is always the same. Try and collect a small amount of resources at a time. So if a node has a million resources, try and collect it uh, 130,000 at a time. So every time that your gatherers come back to your city with 130,000 of those resources, they'll give you two or three boxes. Then you send them again, 130,000 later, they come back, two or three boxes again. So the number is usually between 90 and 130. I never found anyone who agrees on a number, but it's around that. So just be safe around that. You'll see yourself, if you're getting a lot of two boxes, try and increase the number a little bit so you get more three boxes, but it is a lot of luck again. But if you do that, the whole event on top of killing barbarians and being active, doing all the other stuff in the anniversary festival, it will be very easy to achieve the max level in this event. Otherwise, if you're a spender, you'll just be buying the package that will come out, which will be the Happy Anniversary Bundle, which when it comes out, will be giving a lot of this currency specifically, which will make it so that you can gain the levels that you need very easily. Now, another thing that will be happening on day two of the event. So now I'm on one of the early kingdoms, so I can show you this all before it launches but this will happen the day after we get the event so not the reset coming up now the next one so this will be a power pushing event if you look here it is something that is kingdom wide so now i'm in kingdom one so every kingdom from one to eight participate so it means that basically your kvk will all participate at once in this event and it is just about pushing power of course uh, pretty standard and when you earn enough points here, a million power, basically you'll get five sculptures. So this is amazing. You need to push a million power. You have four days to do it. So it should be easily doable. Um, on top of that, you have a ranking. So the ones who push the most power here will be getting incredibly great rewards. Um, this, uh, as you see, 20 is insane. 10 of this is worth thousands of gems, speed ups, gems, all that stuff. And you also have a name plague. You have an avatar frame and this special city skin which gives 10 percent attack to calves uh this is an absolutely incredible skin it is very very good skin and it only goes to the top 10 in this event so you have to be very very um prepared in order to win this event or very rich if you're a well uh, this event is for you if you're not a well you're not gonna get top 10 unless you've been setting up for a year uh, but even the top 20 top 50 the rewards are considerably great uh, if you want this special uh, avatar frame, which you'll never be able to get again probably for a while, uh, this is where you're going to be getting it. So this is a very good event to push for if you are in the position to do a push. So this sending card event, uh, this will happen the entire duration of the event as well. It lasts 10 days total, which is very good. Uh, you will be getting these card packs from many different places in the game, such as what we saw earlier. In the actual uh, celebration cake here, see you get some here, and there is more here, and there's going to be quite a few places where they're going to be coming from, I'm sure. And the way it works basically is when you have it, you'll go in your chat and you will press the item, and then this this will come up for people. Uh, obviously, now all the glyphs have been claimed, so I'm too late, I didn't get it, but the first five who will click on it will basically get it. So here is what it's going to look like. You will click on it, and then okay, I'm too slow, but if you're not too slow, you'll be one of these five people who got these very small rewards. Now I've seen golden keys here um, and I've seen a slightly better amount of gems and resources. So it's a very small chance of getting something okay. Um, you know, if you do this a hundred times during the event and you get five golden keys for free, you know, it's completely free. So this is something that can be done. Um, there is no uh, like strategy to it. It's really just do it if you have it and click it fast if you can see it. Other than that, it's just free stuff and free reward. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is Race Against Time. Now, this event comes uh, on and off during the time that we play Rise of Kingdom and doesn't often have the same kind of rewards that goes with the event. But in this case, when you're doing this event, you'll see that there's candy commanders here, 15, 10 there, and then 20 here. So this event specifically today will be giving us um, currency for our celebration cake, which means that you have to do it, of course, uh, at least up to the gold chest. But as you can see, and as you probably know, there is a ranking system which gives you up to 20 golden heads. So this is an amazing, amazing event, especially because you don't specifically have to be a whale to do well in this event. This is where you have to kill as many barbarians as possible in five minutes, which goes up to nine minutes because you can get extra time. So basically, it goes on to how many good marches of 
fast barbarian killers you have now you can group with your friends and have 15 marshals at a time and kill them now we have an entire video on this event specifically if you want to check it on our channel it's called race against time in the title so you can find it pretty easily and i'm going to put a card in the description so just make sure to participate and do as well as you can in this event um as you can see there's so many places to get these candy commanders that you'll be able to get this cake pretty high up pretty easily you have seven days total once the event starts to do this and every free to play player that i know in my alliance always manages to get here and as i said if you don't have 7,000 gems get it now is the time even if you have to spend for it the value that you get here is like there's nothing as valuable as these 7,000 gems giving you 25 heads alone uh, that's more than 30,000 gems worth of like sculptures on its own it's incredible so i hope everybody of you can manage to get everything here because this will be a very very good event for everyone on top of all the other events at uh, the power event the card event all that stuff adds up there's so much coming on as well as if you look here there's going to be an arms training coming up as well which is not specifically for the event but it is a very good valuable event as well so there's just so much going on there's a ceroli assault going on this is going to be a very fun week and i hope you enjoy so if you guys have any question or comment as usual, leave it in the comments here as well as if you'd like more of these kind of videos, please give us your suggestions on what you would like to see. Drop us a like and subscribe to our channel for more of this every day. I thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.